Welcome back to Football Daily, where for today's 10 we are taking the biggest transfer from each of the last 10 seasons and ranking how successful the moves were. Let's get into it. 10. Fernando Torres We start off with Fernando Torres, whose £50 million move from the red of Liverpool to the blue of Chelsea can't really be described as anything but a flop. The Spaniards' transfer was the biggest of the 2010-11 season, ahead of his Anfield replacement Andy Carroll. After a three-and-a-half-year period at Liverpool in which he scored 81 goals in 142 matches, El Nino had become one of the Premier League's deadliest strikers. So, Carlo Ancelotti made a move for him and it went through on deadline day. And as it happened, his debut came against his former club. His new side lost 1-0. It took over 15 hours for Torres to score his first goal for Chelsea and it was his sole strike at Stamford Bridge that season, a sign of what was to come. 2012-13 was his most prolific campaign in London with 22 goals in 64 games in all competitions and was almost half of the 45 goals he netted in his entire time with Chelsea. In 2015, Torres moved to AC Milan on a free transfer, ending his nightmare with the Blues, but managed an average of just 8 goals a season for the rest of his career, a far cry from the heights he hit at Liverpool. Before we move on to our next section, don't forget to subscribe to Football Daily and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all our videos. 9. Joao Felix now, presuming no fee in January will top this, the €126 million Euros paid by Atletico Madrid to Benfica for Joao Felix will be the biggest transfer of this 2019-20 season. Putting the Portuguese prodigy in ninth isn't a reflection of his success in the Spanish capital, but because it is simply too soon to judge how well he will perform in his Atleti career. After all, this time last year he was almost entirely unknown, as it was with the hiring of Bruno Larger as the Eagles coach that saw the then 19-year-old get consistent game time. And boy, did he deliver, ending the season with 15 goals and 7 assists in 26 appearances, as well as becoming the youngest ever hat-trick scorer in the Europa League, as Benfica claimed the Liga Nosh crown. Diego Simeone and Atletico Madrid spent the Griezmann money on someone they anticipate to be his long-term replacement at the Wanda. It's a more competitive league, shown by the 20-year-old making just 3 goal contributions in 9 La Liga games so far. Then again, his new club are hardly renowned for putting up the big numbers. But, as we said, this is early in Felix's career and we anticipate him shooting up this list in the years to come. 8. Paul Pogba A player that, if things went differently, Manchester United would never have had to break the world transfer record to sign. Paul Pogba's £90 million move back to the Red Devils just edged out his former club Juventus capture of Gonzalo Higuain as the biggest signing in the 2016-17 season. We won't bore you with the Frenchman's history, but Pogba won everything in Italy after moving on a free transfer back in 2012. And United identified the 23-year-old as the man to bring the fans back on side after a couple of down years following Fergie's departure. Whilst they only finished in sixth that first season under Jose Mourinho, Pogba led the side to League Cup and Europa League triumphs before finishing his runners up to Manchester City in 2017-18. But despite ending last season as his club's top goal scorer and top assist maker, whilst averaging the most shots, key passes, dribbles and racking up the most minutes for an outfield player, Pogba splits the fans. Some love him, some hate him and his future in the Northwest has been uncertain for over a year. There's no doubting his quality, but his impact and influence since his return leaves something to be desired. 7. Neymar You knew he'd appear on this list at some point, it was just a question of where. Neymar lands at number 7 after what can only be described as an underwhelming two years so far for PSG. The Parisians of course activated his €222 million Euro release clause when signing the Brazilian from Barcelona in 2017, which remains the world transfer record to this day. Costing so much, Neymar was expected to spearhead the charge for PSG's first ever Champions League trophy, with Ligue 1 nothing more than a formality these days. But the 27-year-old has featured in only one knockout game so far, as his team has lost in the round of 16 in back-to-back -back seasons. He missed those games due to injury and has in fact played just 63 of 121 possible games in France. But it's not like he's not doing anything for the French giants. Neymar has 55 goals and 29 assists in those 63 matches, meaning he has 1.4 goal contributions per 90 and has already won a handful of trophies whilst with PSG. However, his absences, along with the emergence of Kylian Mbappe, means that Neymar hasn't quite had the impact many expected him to have upon his arrival. 6. Radamel Falcao You might be surprised to see Radamel Falcao this high, but whilst with Atletico Madrid, the Colombian was one of the most lethal and sought-after strikers in world football. The 50 million euros Atleti paid to FC Porto was the highest fee spent in the 2011-12 season, 
just beating out what they received that same summer from Manchester City for Sergio Aguero. Back to Falcao though, and it is often forgotten just how prolific he was. Not moving to Europe until he was 23, El Tigre was an instant hit. In Portugal, he found the net 72 times in two years, including a ridiculous 17 goals in Porto's triumphant 2010-11 Europa League campaign. And Falcao continued this form when he moved to Madrid, adding 70 goals in 91 appearances in his two years, as he won the Europa League for a second time and a Copa del Rey. His reputation has taken a hit since the 60 million euro move to Monaco in 2013, first having two serious injuries before two underwhelming seasons in the Premier League where he scored just five goals. 70 goals in his last three seasons with Monaco though shows he's still got it, even if he's no longer Europe's deadliest striker, as he was at his peak with Atleti. 5. Gareth Bale On September 1st, 2013, after weeks of rumours, Tottenham Hotspur's Gareth Bale finally signed on the dotted line for Real Madrid for a fee it would later be revealed topped 100 million euros. The biggest move that summer, fortunately stopping Neymar appearing on here a second time, the 24-year-old instantly became one of Britain's most recognised sports stars. And the Welshman had a whirlwind first three years in Madrid. Part of a front three that included Karim Benzema and Cristiano Ronaldo, the man whose transfer record he smashed, Bale proved his worth as both a finisher and a creator, racking up 93 goal contributions in La Liga and the Champions League, winning the latter twice. He would of course go on to win the big one twice more as well as adding a domestic title in the three years since, but this is where he falls down the list slightly. Bale has missed almost 20 games a season to injury since 2016 and is not hugely popular amongst the fans either, for apparently refusing to fully embrace the Spanish lifestyle. Whilst he may be back in the side now, it's no secret that Zinedine Zidane wants a 30-year-old gone. 4. Thiago Silva in a year that saw Paris Saint-Germain also buy Zlatan Ibrahimovic, it might come as a slight surprise to see his AC Milan teammate top the charts in the 2012-13 campaign. Making the same trip as Ibra, but at more than double the price, Thiago Silva's 42 million euro transfer was the first time a defender was the most expensive move in a season since Rio Ferdinand crossed the Pennines a decade earlier. 27 years old at the time, the Brazilian, who had a brief spell with Porto's B team in 2005, was widely considered to be the best centre-back in world football. And with this belief, backed up by the likes of Franco Baresi and Paolo Maldini, well, who are we to argue? Seven years and 300 appearances down at Parc de Prance, the now 35-year-old is still one of the first names on the team sheet. An undisputed legend in the French capital, he's been nominated for the FIFA Pro World XI for the last seven years and has featured in his league's team of the season every year since 2010. A huge outlay for a defender at the time, it's hard to say PSG didn't splash their cash wisely. 3. Luis Suarez Usually, performances at the World Cup can inflate a player's value, but in Luis Suarez's case, his actions at the 2014 edition caused a different kind of attention. After infamously biting Italy's Giorgio Chiellini in Uruguay's group stage decider, the striker was banned from all football activity for four months. This, however, did not put off Barcelona, who had been in pursuit of the Liverpool man for a long time. It cost the Blaugrana 82 million euros to prize away the golden boot holder from Anfield, and ultimately, their decision was justified. The Uruguayan has topped 25 goals in each full season at the new Camp, forming incredible bonds along the way with players like Pedro, Neymar and of course Lionel Messi. Four Copas del Rey, four La Ligas and a Champions League to boot, his true importance to Barcelona lie in his numbers. His 185 goals put him behind just Messi, Cesar and Laszlo Kubala in their all-time goalscoring charts. And being just a handful of goals behind the Hungarian means, in all likelihood, Suarez will end this season at number three. A true Barcelona icon. 2. Kevin De Bruyne In 2015-16, Manchester City players occupied the top two places in the transfer charts, with Kevin De Bruyne edging out Raheem Sterling for the biggest fee costing 75 million euros from the Bundesliga's Wolfsburg. The Belgian, flipped for a profit by Chelsea, had just come off a huge 18 months in Lower Saxony, scoring 10 and assisting a massive 20 as De Wolfer bagged the best of the rest spot behind Bayern in Germany. The City hierarchy were very quickly justified in making the then 24-year-old the club record signing. In 22 league starts in his debut campaign, he contributed 16 goals. Good output for any creative midfielder and De Bruyne won the City Player of the Year award for that season. The following two campaigns saw him add another 48 goal contributions, 34 of which were assists, leading the Premier League in both years. In fact, his 54 assists, including 9 already this season, is the Premier League's highest since his arrival four years ago, and that includes the 18-19 season in which he played less than a thousand minutes. There's no doubt De Bruyne is one of the Premier League's modern greats, and he's still only 28 years old. 1. Kylian Mbappe Whilst Kylian Mbappe made his PSG debut the previous campaign, the transfer was not officially permanent until the summer of 2018. 
This means his 145 million euro move from Monaco to the French capital overshadowed Cristiano Ronaldo's switch to Juventus in the same summer. His 2015 debut broke the Monegas record for the youngest ever player, before breaking through in spectacular fashion the following season as they went on to win Liga, all before Mbappe's 18th birthday. And after very much playing second fiddle to Neymar in the 17-18 campaign at PSG, he's reached superstar status after leading France to World Cup glory, netting twice in the biggest game in football. 33 goals in just 24 starts for Les Parisiens last season and effectively averaging a goal contribution every 45 minutes already in this one. PSG certainly paid handsomely for someone who couldn't even vote, but whisper it quietly, he might just be the best player in the world right now. And if he isn't, he will still dominate the game for the next 15 years. Hands down the best big money signing of the last decade. And that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. What do you make of the rankings? Would you move any of the players up or down? Let me know in the comments below. As ever, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Football Daily and have a wonderful day.